In your prime, you said you could beat Michael Jordan yes. one on one. Is that just, are you? No, you know it's real too. It's too small. <laughs> LeVar Ball, who is best known as a multi-talented businessman and former professional football player, how could we forget he is also the father of not one, not two, but three NBA players, including Lonzo, LiAngelo, LaMelo Ball, respectively, and is the co-founder of the CEO of the sports apparel company, Big Baller Brand. LeVar has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate, including an enormous $5.2 million mansion in Chino Hills, California. In fact, Big Baller Brand, the apparel brand connected to both LeVar and Le Lakers guard Lonzo Ball purchased a 13,800 square foot home with a 1,200 square foot guest house in Chino Hills, which LeVar was calling the best house in an 80 mile radius. That's a pretty bold statement right there. When asked if he likes how much more private this house is, LeVar said that they had to make the move because things got way too crazy with the fans. I had to get behind the gate, LeVar says in the video. It got too crazy, knocking on the door, jumping over fences. Now you gotta go through the gate and you gotta get through my gate. We'll take a look at this new house and see what all the hype is about. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Marlon Palmer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos literally every day. Now, we previously reported on the homes of Pharrell and Justin Timberlake, so if you'd like to, please check those out on our channel right now. And if you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications, follow me on Instagram at ThatDoMcFly, and let us know in the comment section down below whose house tour you'd like to see next. Let's get into the video. The former professional football player and CEO of Big Baller Brand, Sports Apparel, has a net worth of $4 million. However, with a bunch of his sons having professional careers in the NBA along with co-founding Big Baller Brand, that number should increase pretty steadily. While Ball has made a lucrative career financially, he is no stranger to controversy. Following a series of bold statements in the spring of 2017, Ball began repeatedly making his national sports headlines. His early remarks included saying that his son Lonzo is better than Steph Curry and claiming that he himself could defeat Michael Jordan one-on-one -on -one in basketball. He's if you're weighing 210 pounds, right. we're playing one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. You know, I'm undefeated one-on-one. -on -one. I'll never lose one-on-one. -on -one. Did you ever play Michael Jordan? If he played me, he'd cry. <laughs> <laughs> he has also been in the spotlight for his criticism of his son's team, most notably the Lakers after the treatment of Lonzo, as well for his exchange with U.S. President Donald Trump after Leandro was detained in China for shoplifting. When I heard about it a few days ago, I had a great conversation with President Xi. He's been terrific. President Xi has been terrific on that subject. This was followed by Ball claiming that his three sons deserve a $1 billion shoe endorsement. Well, if somebody does something for you, then you say thank you. Somebody did now, something for you. if that's your opinion say that he's you. done for me, okay. I would say thank you if he would have put him on his plane and took him home. After the Jordan comments, Charles Barkley challenged Ball to a game of one-on-one -on -one in 2017. They set up a one-on-one -on -one between you guys for one -on -one all the One-on-one Barkley world. won't even show up. He, he can't walk that far. <laughs> You killed him with reality. But it never went down. As for Big Baller Brands, in April 2017, it was announced that one of the major shoe brands would be offering LeVar the type of licensing endorsement deal he was seeking. On May 4th, 2017, LeVar revealed that he had gone ahead and designed his own signature shoe for his son Lonzo, the Z02. The shoe retailed at $495. By comparison, when Michael Jordan debuted in 1985, the retail price was $64, which is around $150 today after inflation. Shoe fans can buy an autographed pair for $995. That's just... Wow. The Big Baller brand also offered a $220 sandal. My, that's a lot of cake for some kicks. Regardless, business appears to be doing well because in 2017, Ball picked up an enormous mansion in Chino Halls. It looks like LeVar and Big Baller brand is moving up following the purchase of a 13,800 square foot home with a 1,200 square foot guest house in Chino Hills for 5.2 million. Built in 2005, the massive three-story custom-built Mediterranean home boasts a whopping eight bedrooms and eight and a half bathrooms. The gated estate sits on more than three acres of grounds and features a fenced swimming pool and a separate which features the massive guest house. Some of the more luxurious features include both game and media room, a chef's kitchen, a gym for those that want to pump a little iron. There are front and rear staircases, as well as a wooden panel elevator. You know, for those days, you're just too lazy to take the stairs. Luxurious home features a formal entry and open floor plan that connects the center hall foyer and galley kitchen. Some of the more lavish interior features include two roaring spiraling staircases and living room balcony overlooking the elegant furnishings, stylish paintings, and unique antiques. There's an additional balcony outside which features breadth 
breathtaking views of Chino Hills landscape. The home comes complete with a combination of beamed cathedral vaulted and coffered ceilings and an abundance of custom built-ins. Some of these deluxe built-ins include a combination of granite and stone counters throughout the house. The abundance of oversized windows give life to virtually every room in the house, giving the house an airy and roomy ambiance. Let me tell you, the kitchen is fit for a king of big baller brands as it features all modern appliances including a six burner stove, barbecue and built-in range. Not to mention the kitchen comes complete with decked out with a, both a convection oven, double oven and energy star appliances. The balls or perhaps fellow teammates have the choice to relax in the kitchen area, breakfast counter, breakfast nook or formal dining room all elegantly packed together. The room also features a butler's pantry, walk-in pantry, granite counters and charming kitchen island is open to the family room. The bathroom is truly a thing of beauty as it features all granite counters, heated floors, and oversized linen closet, and a luxurious jetted tub. Let me tell you, this house does not mess around with their bathrooms. There are additional separate tubs and showers, another soaking tub, vanity area, and yet another walk-in shower. While the home boasts a lavish kitchen and bathroom, the home features its own office space, where a big contract at two has probably been signed. Not to mention, for those who fancy a little reading session, can do so in Ball's very own library. Librarian not included, obviously. Like any deluxe mansion, the house comes complete with a gym to pump that iron, home theater to catch a few flicks, and wine room for those that fancy a little Chardonnay. If wine doesn't tickle your fancy, guests lucky enough to visit can relax in their choice of two bars, including a wet bar. Okay, maybe this was the best house in the 80 mile radius. The home also features a whopping 16 fireplace area, and a few of them are located in the bathroom, library, and guest room. Hey, why not get all the warm and cozy in the library? While the interior has an abundance of deluxe features, the exterior features are probably more glamorous as they include a relaxed deck, patio, and porch. The style the terrace features stone and tile and comes complete with a private in-ground salt water pool and spa. In addition, the backyard features comfy poolside furnishings, a beautifully manicured landscape, and more breathtaking views of Chino Hills. We're guessing this is where balls would spend most of their time partying. In addition to the three square foot lot and guest house, there's no shortage of dope places to hang out while staying at the ball residence. All right, so I think we'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at LeVar Ball's home and that massive, massive house in Chino Hill with its own salt water pool and spa. That is Mm, beautiful. After seeing that house, he snagged. What did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of LeVar? Personally, I'm still intrigued with the fact that he has a library. I don't even... There's a lot of dust in there, I'm just saying. Out of Ball's features, which ones were your fave? You guys can go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at that dude McFly, And let us know in the comment section down below whose house tour you'd like to see next. I'll see you guys next time.